Hello everyone. In this video, we learn to fetch an auto populate an image on the notes field within a form. Let's use a sample application to demonstrate this use case. The screen we're looking at right now is the order form to collect orders from customers. The choose product field is a lookup field from the products form used to select a desired product. The product form is used to store the image details of the products. We have an image field here where you can upload product images based on the products. This is a list of sample products that we have added to the product form. Now, let's look at how to display the specific image based on the product selected in the order form. To begin, we must add an add notes field to the order form in order to display the image associated with the product selected. To do this, go to the editor, then to the form builder and add the add notes field from the special field section. The Add Notes field is used to display plain text, rich text or images in a form. We are including this to show the product's image. Next, create a workflow to populate the Add Notes field with the image of the chosen product. To do this, create a workflow to run on a form event. Choose the form on which we want to run the workflow. In our case, let's choose the order form. Choose the workflow to run when a record is created or edited. The workflow should be triggered on the input of the user. We choose this option as we want the workflow to be executed after the user selects the product in the product field. Next, choose the choose product field. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on add new action. The dilute script builder will open. We need to define the script here. The logic is to fetch the relevant image by matching the product ID chosen by the user with the record ID in the All Products report and populate it into the Add Notes field. To do this, let's use the Fetch Record task. Declare a variable, display IMG equals, choose the product form, type ID equals, input dot choose product dot image. We have now fetched the image data based on the value selected on the product field and it is stored in the display IMG variable. Next, let's do a quick null check to prevent the script from executing unnecessarily when the lookup field is cleared. To do this, let's use the if condition. Type display img not equal to null. Now that a condition has been set, the code will only be executed when a selection is made in the lookup field. Next, we have to populate the add notes field with the image field value that is stored in the display img variable. But before doing that, we have one more thing left. That is to replace the masked parameters with valid application specific parameters in the image URL. To do this, let's use the replace all function. Type display img equals display img dot replace all slash shared by slash app link name slash comma zoho dot app uri semicolon. Here, we replace share by an app link name with zoho.appuri. It is a Zoho variable that stores the value of the admin username and the app link name. Therefore, we replace this value with the mass parameters. Let's continue writing the code to replace the remaining three parameters. Type display img equals display img dot replace all view link name comma all products semicolon. Here, we replace the variable view link name with the report that contains the image data, which in our case is the all products report. Next, type display img equals display img dot replace all field name comma image semicolon. Here, we replace the variable field name for the field that holds the image, which in our case is the image field. We now need to set the size in which image should be displayed. Say, we want the image to be 200 by 200 pixels in size. Type display img equals display img dot replace all less than img comma less than img height equals 200 px width equals 200 px semicolon. Here, we replace the img variable with the height and width that we want the image to be displayed on. Let's populate this value into the add notes field now. Type input.plane equals display img. Here, input.plane is the add notes field and we have populated it with the variable display img which contains the actual image. If we do not replace these mass parameters with valid application specific parameters, the notes field will display the broken image icon instead of the actual image. Let's see how this code works in real time. Once we choose a product from the lookup field, 
You can see the image getting populated in the notes field with the dimensions we have specified. The same logic can be used for scenarios like displaying an employee's photo based on the name chosen or displaying an image of the venue selected by the user and a lot more. That's all for this video. We hope you have learned to fetch an auto populate an image within a form. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.